Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Mandy and I'm gonna try something that I have in my head. And I, I put my pillow down first, so that's why my hands are already dirty, but I have, I have this idea to do a two-tone swipe using these two colors. So this bottom one is Bitter Chocolate from Sherwin-Williams, color to go. And the top one is Tre Natural from Sherwin-Williams, color to go. The top one is much thicker, so I did water it down just a little bit with just a little bit of water at a time. Um, it's still thicker than this one, but um, not so much that it would make a huge difference. So my idea is to use uh, pinkish colors and gold to do a negative space swipe. Um, I deliberately didn't want like a straight line across. So I'm not sure how it's going to go, to be honest with you. I'm a little nervous, um, but I'm just getting some paint off my hands and we're going to give it a go. So um, the first color I'm going to put down is, let me make sure that this autofocus is not doing that nonsense it likes to do, Mystical Mauve from Color Art. This is part of the Ancient Treasures set and it is a beautiful, beautiful color. So we're going to put that color down kind of in the center and because I have the two-tone thing going on I'm going to try to be kind of organized in how I do this but you know how that goes I don't want to like get too much of the pillow paint smeared into the other side but I don't mind if there's a little bit of overlap but I just thought how pretty this would be with like pinks and browns so that's my idea. Hopefully it turns out. <laughs> and then next to this, I'm going to put Baronia Burgundy, which is a boom gel. Don't forget you have promo codes in the description box below for both color art and boom gel stains. So for anything on the color art website, you can use Mandy1120 and save 20%. And then anything on Pixel Paint Design's website, you can use Mandy15 and save 15%. Um, she ships from the U.S. and has um, Australian Floetrol as well, so take advantage of those discounts. Now I'm going to use <clears throat> Emperor's Gold right here. This is also from the Ancient Treasures set. It's a beautiful, beautiful, rich gold. So I'm going to put that down here. And then I am going to put another boom gel in here. I'm just trying to decide where. So some of this I decided beforehand and some of it I'm kind of making up as I go. Maybe I might be being too careful here, but I'm just kind of nervous about slopping the paint everywhere. All right. And then... I'm going to put the pearlescent pink somewhere. I just got to figure that out. So on the other side of Baronia Burgundy, we're going to put some Rose Quartz, which is another color art color. This is from the Jelly Bean set. So this is a putting, not a putting on the glitz, but a glitz color from the Primary Elements line. So it's a beautiful, beautiful sparkly color. I hope everybody had a good weekend. I'm very focused right now, so sorry if I'm not very entertaining. I don't know why, but when there's more than one pillow, I feel like my margin for error is so great because I'm always so afraid that I'm gonna like drop into random parts. I'm not this careful all the time, so I don't really know what my problem is, but because I've already got the middle kind of covered, you know, so but here I am being all dramatic. Okay, now I'm going to put Parisian Lily, which is from the Glass Wings Bling It set. 
It's a beautiful, beautiful pink. It has a little bit of a violet or a blue shift. Super pretty. I'm gonna put that over here next to this gold. Plus I kind of like how beautiful that will be as it glazes across the brown. When I started thinking about this, I had two colors in mind, most definitely, which was Rose Quartz and Parisian Lily. And then I just kind of built around that. Isn't that kind of weird how we pick colors? I mean, I don't know how it works for all of you guys, but for me, I usually get one or two that I definitely want to do. And then the rest is sort of like, well, let's see what happens kind of a deal. I got that right there. I don't think it's gonna be a big deal, but. All right, now I'm gonna do Solar Flare Drizzled. I think I might put a little bit more Baronia Burgundy. Mm. No, I think we have enough. It's kind of a dark color, so it's probably gonna show. So I'm gonna put some Pearl Pink boom gel stain but first i'm going to drizzle solar flare this is also from the ancient treasure set from color art and i love it i love how sparkly it is i've been using it all the time so i'm gonna give us some more pizzazz with some solar flare just gonna slop some on there because who doesn't love some extra sparkle um, so the Bling It series, uh, or the Bling It sets, which um, include the Ancient Treasures and the Glass Wing, as well as the Interference Colors from Color Art, you can use in resin or in acrylic pouring. So they're very versatile and very fun to play with. Okay, I almost dropped a whole bunch of that. Let me move some of my paints out of the way. And we're going to use a red black cell activator, which really looks chocolate in my opinion. I'm just moving some things in case the paint flies, which I don't think it's going to. <clears throat> I'm gonna pop a couple bubbles in a second. So I'm gonna put this pearl boom gel stain kind of right down the center. Oops. It should just complement these colors really nicely and give us some really nice cells. Okay. Oh, don't forget that description box. We also have um, my Fluid Art Friends Facebook group is in there, so we'd love to have you join. Share your artwork. A very sweet, supportive group of artists and people who just appreciate fluid art in there. It's always nice to have a safe place to share. Okay, now red black cell activator. So this is Atelier Interactive, and this is another reason I thought about doing this because I already had this mixed up. So, woohoo! So I'm gonna put cell activator on my palette knife and then I'm going to swipe that feels to me like I have the most control that way so that's what I like to do most of the time doesn't mean I don't ever do other things but for me I have more control when I swipe using the tool kind of preloaded with the cell activator okay and this is a chocolate like a dark almost like an espresso chocolate color. So it's not gonna be so matchy-matchy for this part. Okay. I have a lot of paint on the surface, so that was really difficult to swipe. <clears throat> Hold on just a second. Sorry about the barking. We have a no solicitation sign and people sometimes pay attention to it and sometimes do not. <clears throat> so 
So, so far, I love this. Um, I'm hoping that I can swipe the other part successfully. And then we'll see if we want to embellish it. But I love the colors and they're doing exactly what I wanted them to do. Hold on just a second, my dog's about to chew on her bone. Sorry, before I start filming, nobody rings the doorbell. The dogs don't want to chew on anything. They don't want to make any weird, obscene noises. As soon as we start doing this, it's like everything in the world starts happening. Okay, this is actually going to use pretty much all my cell activator, so keeps keeps it from going to waste. So, so far these colors are doing exactly what I had in mind. And that's the exact color palette I wanted. And where we have some contrast is kind of exactly what I had in mind. So how often does that happen? Never. Hardly ever, right? Okay, let's see if we can't go like this. I'll do something about this. I think it's going to spin off, so I'm not that worried about it. Even where I've swiped my tool to clean it has really cool cells. I need to maybe let that develop before I mess with it. All right, let me clean my tool, let that develop for a second. Chloe, please leave your bone alone. Sorry about all the noise, guys. These little fur babies are precious, but they're not quiet. Okay. There's definitely, um, the boom gel will cause these cells to continue to form. This one is obviously more developed because we did it first than this one. I know I have this here. I'm not really very worried about that. If I had to, I could take a palette knife and touch it up. And I might do that just while I'm letting it develop. It's probably going to um, get spun off anyway, so I'm not really very worried about the outcome there. But just in case it messes up the composition somehow, we'll just do this. And then I'll connect that somehow. So, voila. We're not afraid of it. Okay. Now this is starting to develop a little bit more like the other side. So I'm pretty excited. Um, I'm going to put my head right in the way for just a second. not overwork that because <clears throat> I think overall we have what we're looking for so let's see if we want to mess with it anyway okay I definitely want to connect this a little bit better to make that look intentional because it's not <clears throat> and let me get a clean skewer so I'm using a coffee stir stick using the narrow part to do this. And if I put any lines through the, um, through the swipe, I would use the thicker part so they would look like we did them on purpose. I don't know that I want to put anything in the middle I kind of like the movement. The only place I'm a little shaky on is right here, but let's give it a gentle spin. I'm surprised that it hasn't already gone on the floor. It's opening up really nicely. Let's kind of walk it side to side a little bit. You can't really tell that I layered the paint the way I did. Um, 
I kind of wanted the brown to kind of climb up the side. But I'm kind of a creature of habit, I guess, in how I swipe. So how I swiped kind of took that over. And I'm helping get this paint because that's, this white one is a lot more thick. I'm kind of helping by taking the drips and getting it to the bottom so we've got the edges covered. Because once we have the edges covered, we don't so much have to worry about how we're going to get there. We just have to worry about getting enough paint off. So the brown side, the bitter chocolate side, has less paint coverage, I guess, on the edges. So I'm just going to kind of cover it and then we'll keep spinning. But I like how it opened up. Um, I don't like this bubble right here. But before I put that in there, I should probably make sure it has no paint on it, huh? This is so very much what I wanted, y'all. How often does that happen? I am so happy. And you can see all the colors. There's one part that I kind of want to mess with, and I might sincerely regret it. Let me spin just a little bit more. And I'm going to get a wipey for my hands because I can't mess with anything right now. I have so much paint on me. But I'm just ecstatic about the colors, how the colors panned out. I love the cell activator that I used. I think it works great with the colors. It's soft, plays well with the pinks and the gold. I'm just pretty excited, you know? Um, let's see. So the one part that's bothering me is the part that I blew out, which is right here. And I don't know if I can help it. Look. That's probably enough. No one's going to notice that but me. And the more I mess with it, the more I'm going to be fixated on it. So I like the composition. I like that we have good representation of the chocolate and the tray natural. I know we have too much paint left, so I'm going to try to just enlarge this a little bit. But we may not have so much that it's a problem. So let me just give it a couple of gentle spins because I also don't want to open up that one weird part a whole lot more. I think that it looks pretty cool the way it is and I don't want it to be worse. I love 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 this so let me just get make sure we have enough paint off it seems like we do i think it looks pretty hopefully it dries nicely but yeah i'm super happy it actually went exactly like i wanted so let me clean up and i'll give you a close-up Sorry about the messy background that you're going to see because of spinning, but um, yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I, I really think these colors turned out really cool, and this is great, and it's neutral enough to go in almost any room, so I'm pretty excited. Okay, let me bring you down. All right, everybody, so here comes our close-up. I just really like it. Um, so this is a 12-inch wood round, which I failed to mention earlier. But just look at the movement in that. I love how all the colors show. I love that the cell activator is a different color brown than the bitter chocolate. I love how the Parisian lily is down here. So pretty. I just love it. I think, I think it's so beautiful. I hope that you do too. I like how we still have these weird pillow cells over here. I think that's where I messed with it, right? I don't know but I love them right here. Those are cool. But yeah, I would love to hear what you think. I just think it turned out really beautiful.
Um, thank you guys for all your support. And if you're new, I would love it if you'd subscribe and um, let me know that you're new to the channel. And if not, thank you again for always supporting me and um, all the kind feedback you guys give. I'll give you another little snippet, snippet, whatever the right word is. So pretty. I just really love it. I love it when it turns out like in my head. That's so great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.